Welcome back. Today is obviously a historical holiday for many, and our local African American community has been celebrating Juneteenth all weekend long. Our KX Andre Uribe visited one of the locations that was showcasing the importance of today. Black and white pictures come to life against their colorful backgrounds at the Brazos Valley African American Museum. While Juneteenth has been a federal holiday for just two years, many generations in Brazos Valley know the historical significance of celebrating Juneteenth in their own way. Well, you know, Juneteenth is, uh, you know, was one time was called Freedom Day. Uh, one time was called Jubilee Day. But basically, you know, is a time when the basically the word arrived to Galveston, Texas, June 19, 1865, that basically slavery had been abolished. For some residents, it's a day that hits close to home. The date that my ancestors found out that they were find, finally free because my uh, great, great, great grandfather Robert Jenkins was from the uh, Arcola Plantation down in Fort Bend County, which people now call, used to call Sienna Plantation neighborhood. But that was a live plantation where my family were slaves. This is a piece of history that community members want future generations to be aware of. So to get that freedom to come, to go, to read, to be educated. Uh, Sometimes I guess we can take that for granted because never, because we've never not had that denied to us. A day like today brings history to the present, reminding residents to never forget the past. It's to celebrate the fact that you are now free and you can go about your livelihood and do whatever you want to do and carry forth your dreams. And my dream became manifest in going to Texas A&M and becoming a distinguished alumnus. Andrea Uribe, KAGS News. Such a strong message. And the Brazos Valley African American Museum is open Tuesday through Friday from 12 to 5 p.m. and Saturdays from 12 to 4. For more information about the museum, you can visit the website below.